All right, so as you can see, the access port came in the mail. And I'm just extremely excited because that means the Subaru will be running very soon. So basically it comes with, you open up the package that's in this box, you got your access port, the cord to hook it to the computer, the cord to hook it up to the OBD, OBD2 port, the mount in the case which holds it that it mounts to. I'm not sure what these are yet. A bunch of stickers, cob stickers, and then a uh, instructions. All right, so just a little update on how this access port is going. Not good because um, if you're, this is just for a 2003. I'm not sure how the other years if they're the same or not, but um, it's supposed to be. I don't think you can see anything. But there's a little place you plug in one connector there, and there's supposed to be two green test connectors you plug in down there to make it so it can reflash your ECU. I go under there and they're already plugged in, so I'm like, well, crap, that means it's been in test mode this whole time, I'm assuming, because they're plugged in. So, I couldn't figure out what to do. I called Cobb and he said, okay, no, they're on the passenger side. So, yeah, now everything's apart. Um, he said they're up on top, up by the blower motor, by the ECU. So I'm looking into there, can't find anything. I thought, well, I'm at it, I might as well replace my cabin air filter. So that's why that's out. The dash is out, or the uh, glove box is out. But they're still not there. And so then I look up where the ECU is, because he said they're right by the ECU. The ECU is under the carpet back here, under a metal plate. I'm like, well, that can't be it. So I thought, I might as well check over here, because this panel right here, this little thing. And <laughs> what do you know? They're right there. So yeah, that's what you do. You got to connect those, plug in another connector they send with you, and then you should be good to go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and reflash it right now. So you got to make sure it's all plugged in. Turn your key to the on. You can hear it like that. Plug in the test connectors. But you can't see anything about what I'm doing right here, but... There we go. Check in on his flashing. That is supposed to be doing. supposed to do that so now the fans and everything is supposed to be going on and off completely normal sounds kind of sketchy though but stage 2 on 93 that's the one I want to do okay battery chargers on that's connected that's connected Doing what it says. It's communicating. And now it is saving the factory ECU data. I'm assuming so that's in case it dies or something. It can reflash it to the factory settings. It's going pretty fast. There we go. And now it is flashing my ECU right now. Now I gotta go disconnect the white or blue wire that's on the other side. This is the white connector that's talked about. These are where the test wires are supposed to be. I don't have to do the first startup. Yeah! Super rude. The exhaust and all that. Ready?